episode six, Ghost Hunting. Hi, this is Kira with my co-host, Rion, and our assistant, Ellis. And this episode, we're going ghost hunting. Alice, tell the listeners what you told us. No? Uh huh. I, I thought I'd have more, more time to. Uh... You can't do it! Well, I. I, um. Uh, I, I heard a rumor that, that there was a ghost in, in the school. Yes, a ghost ghost. You have one in the attic. I know, but this one's a true for real ghost. And the one in the attic isn't. The one in the attic is boring. He, he seemed nice. You're not saying that he isn't boring. Well,. He's just some guy. Exactly. Of all the ghosts we could have gotten in our attic, we get almost just some guy. At least he's not dangerous. He's just some guy, Rian. Anyone can have some guy living in their attic. Who cares if he's a ghost? Okay, so keep it going. What did you hear? So, so some of the kids that I hang out with, the bullies, they're not that bad when you get to know them. They snuck into the school after hours and said a lot of weird stuff happened. What kind of weird? Strange forest inside the school and thinking they were walking downtown, except some of, some of the stories were wrong. Kind of weird. They were probably just lying. Even if they were, don't you think it's still worth checking out? Don't you want to see a ghost ghost, Rion? I, I think that seeing a powerful ghost would be ki- kind of cool. But what if there's nothing there? Nothing happens we get to have a sleepover at the school, which would still be pretty fun, don't you think? We just got out of trouble. You can tell everyone that I dragged you there. You are dragging me there. Well, then you don't have to come. I have my very own Ellis now. You have your own what? You're a very valuable resource. But it would be more fun if you came with us. You've been in the student council meetings and chess club meetings and doing errands for the teachers for two whole weeks. Maybe if you stopped getting into trouble, they could trust you too. I don't want them to trust me if you're going to take up all my time like that. I don't know how you do all that and still find time to do your homework. I'm organized. And you keep your room clean. I really shouldn't. Okay, well, Alice and me will go, and we'll we'll show the episode to you later, okay? It's fine. Okay, Alice, I'll meet you at the school around midnight. Yeah. This is Kirith, heading up the final hill that leads to the school. It's kind of scary out here at night. Like, there's something in the shadows. I was starting to think that uh, you weren't coming. Sorry, my moms were watching a movie and it late, and I had to wait for it to finish. And my mom was crying, and Mama had to—well, it was a whole thing, and it took forever. Oh, uh, thanks, thanks for not ditching me. I would never. So also, I, I have a surprise. Ooh, a surprise! I have a surprise for you too. But uh, you first. Follow me. Where are we going? Just trust me. Oh, oh, Brian! Um, you showed up. Yeah. What changed your mind? Get off. Do you of really me. like making a podcast that much? Care if you're crushing me? Oh, sorry. Are you okay? I I didn't hurt you, did I? No, you just. It's scary out here. I know. I just said that. I'm not a coward. Not, not to me. She didn't. She didn't say that to me. Please stop glaring at me. Oh, I said that to the recorder. I just found Alice, and Alice helped me find you. Well, 
Thanks. How do we get in the school? We should check the door. Really? Did you bring your lap picking kit? No. Well, how did your um, friends get inside? Well, so, some of them are witches, so they use small magic t to unlock the door. Curious. No, I didn't just suddenly become good at small magic. What exactly is the difference between small magic and, like, the thing you did with the bunny bombs? That was magic circle magic. You draw it, but small magic isn't drawn. Most people don't even have to talk. It's just tiny magic to turn a page or answer a phone or unlock a door. I can't do that because I'm a fan. Hear it. Because I'm fairy focused. Thank you. Sometimes you suck, Rion. We have enough bullies. Ugh. I don't know how we're going to get inside. Well, after I told you, I, I might have thought that maybe you, you were maybe going to make us come here and sort of jammed one of the windows to the classroom. Alice, you're a genius. Which window? Uh, that one. We'll have to give Alice a boost. Yeah. And then me next. I can hand you the bags and then you can pull me up? Definitely. I, I can help. Alice, we don't need you falling out of window. I wouldn't fall. Maybe we should come up with some strength training classes for you. I am not that weak. It would be safer than testing you with a window. Okay, Alice. No, no, out. Alice! Fine. Why are your shoes wet? Don't ask questions like that. Did you get it? Can you boost me a little higher? Mm-hmm. On three. One, two, three! Too high, too high! Get in there, Alice! Sounded like it hurt. Ellis? I am fine. I, I tripped. I tripped over a desk. Did it hurt? Yeah. But you're okay. Yeah. Okay, my turn. Ready? Ready. On three. One, two, three. three. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, why are you kicking? <laughs> Almost there! Ow! Kirith? I'm in! Uh, are you okay? Yeah! Rian, hand me the bags! Rian, what did you even pack? It's important to always be prepared. It's not an answer! It's important to always be prepared. Ugh! Is that it? Yeah. Grab my belt, just in case Rion drags me out. Okay, Rion, I'm ready. <clears throat> Alice! I, I, I got you. Other hand, other hand, other hand. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna go backwards, Alice. The backwards? Alice, move! <clears throat> we have a Rion. Yay. Okay. We're all here. Is, is this our classroom? Yeah. Cool. I have presents. Presents. Uh-huh. Because Alice made it sound like we could get split up. So I got these. Which are? Recorders. Wh wh why don't they look like yours? Because they're what I could get from the toy store for like $10. And this is the one I found looking for my grandma's stuff. But anyway, now you can record even when we're not together. Thank you for using Totally Secret Diary. Press the red button to record your diary entry. It was five dollars. I also packed a flashlight and a brick. A brick. In case we get stuck in a hall of mirrors. Sure. I had nightmares of being in a hall of mirrors and every time I wish I had a brick. To break the mirrors. I'm never gonna get out of one of those real. My only hope is to break my way through. Ah. Uh, I also have a sleeping bag, a water bottle, and granola for breakfast. What did you bring? A water bottle. 
pajamas, a, a pillow, and a blanket. Uh, you, you can have some of my granola if you get hungry. I have an extra sleeping bag if you want it. Thanks. And why do you have an extra sleeping bag? I thought you'd forget yours. I also have an extra set of pajamas. Way ahead of you! I can't prepare! What about tomorrow morning? They're reversible! Oh! Now that that's all figured out, I think this will be our base. Like where we sleep. And where we all meet up if we get separated. Why do you keep thinking we're going to get separated? Because it happened to me other kids. And we're not special, Rion. Ah, we'll be right back. Okay, so we pushed all the desks to the walls, and rian has got a fire going. It's just a space heater and a flashlight. So you won't get cold. All these sleeping bags and stuff are in the middle of a room. It's in a sort of circle. So we can all see different corners of the room so that nothing can sneak up on us. Or pick off a person in the back, because there is no back. And now that we're all ready, how do you hunt a ghost, Alice? I, I thought you two would know because you, you already found a ghost. We weren't really looking for him, we just sort of found him. It's probably different for a real ghost. Don't they have those shows where people have all that equipment and they go around visiting places that were important to the ghost? What kind of places do you think ghosts think are important? Like where they died or where they got hurt. Or where something really bad happened. Why don't ghosts ever haunt happy places? Like where they had a really good birthday or something? I think that people of those kinds of memories don't become ghosts. But if they're stuck in a place they died, they had a really good life. Why are they there? I, I heard that ghosts are here because they, they have to finish something that they, they didn't get to do before they died. So, homework. Well, they need help from people to do it, don't they? That's why they're still talking to people. Yeah. Then wouldn't that be a group project? That's scary, Rion. Besides, isn't that unfair? You can live a good life and die bad and bang, you got ghost homework. And it's the worst type of homework because you can't even leave until it's done. Sort of? Well, when I am a ghost, I'm not doing any homework. So, what did your friend say about the ghost? I haven't ever heard of anyone dying at the school before. Maybe they died before the school was here. Uh, I don't think they, they said anything, just that it was messing with them. They probably couldn't get their story right. Maybe. Maybe we just wander around till we find something. Or maybe they'd have something about the, when the school wasn't a school in the library. Or like stories about the school ghost in the local folklore section. We have a local folklore section. You need to spend more time in the library. I live in a bookstore, Ian. So, so the library? The library. Rion? Huh? You go first. Why me? Because your flashlight looks like a little lantern thingy. It feels legit. But I can go first. Really? I mean, I, I can do it. I, I don't mind. Th this was sort of my idea anyway. Here, there's only one dial. It goes dim, bright, really bright. Oh, okay. It's different here at night, isn't it? I told you it was scary. It's like school, but wrong. Mm. Alice, did, did you go ghost hunting at any of your schools? No, I, 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 didn't, I didn't really do much. Why not? I bet at least one of your schools had to be haunted. Uh, I, I never did what, what I wanted to do. It, it was always what my friends wanted. And you never wanted the same things. 
Sometimes we did. It was fun going to get food and hang out after school and stuff. But if if I wanted to go to the library or, or Yeti hunting, I'd, I'd go alone. Do other cities have Yeti hunting? No. They're really missing out. What do they even do the first time it snows? Uh, shovel it? Maybe there's there's a snow day. That's it? We, we could play in the snow if, if there, there wasn't school or, or it was recess. But no yeti hunting. It, it's kind of weird that you guys do it. But it's fun! Kira, back up. You're too close. The shadows are freaking me out. Still. Alice! Alice! You gotta warn us if you're gonna stop. Alice! Alice? What are we looking at? I think that's the science lab. Why are we looking at the science lab? There are teeny tiny dead pigs and jars and snakes and bones and googly eyes that stare at you all if your class is scary even during the day. Alice! Yeah? Oh, uh, wh why did you stop? Y you guys d d didn't hear anything? Hear what? I, I thought so someone was calling my name. Alice! Oh, I get it. G get what? Boo! <laughs> Ryan, don't do that! It's not... It's not... Well, it's funny, but I'm gonna become a ghost for real if you do it again! S sorry Why are you sorry? <gasps> Did you do it on purpose? W well, no, I am... Um... But don't worry about it, it's Ryan's fault And he's so sorry that he's giving me a piggyback ride I'm what? Kirith! Away, my noble steed! Kirith We can't move on unless you're with us It's it's really scary without the light Oh Right. You've gotten slower, Rion. That's because you're heavier than you used to be. And taller. At least one of us has to keep growing. I'm growing. I have a secret. I'm stealing your height. <laughs> Rion, wait, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please, no. We're, we're here. Rion, I want to open the door. Then get down. No. I, I can't. Alice, no. We are one. Oh. Mm. Mm. What are you guys doing? Mm. We're being one now. Rian, a little closer. Mm. Mm. I got it. And... <laughs> Rian, run! <laughs> you guys are weird. What's the plan, Rian? Uh, the folklore section is over there. The town history section is over here, and the magical town history is over there. Why would a ghost be magical? Your ghost is magical. Yeah. There are three places and three of us. I call folklore. I'll do town history. So, so I'm magical history. Yeah. We'll meet back here in ten minutes. I, I didn't bring a watch or, or a phone. We'll meet back here when it feels like it's been ten minutes. This is Kier from the folklore section of the library. Kira. I didn't want to tell Rion, but I have no idea what I'm supposed to be looking for. There's no ghost of people who died in the school section. Kira. So I've just been kind of flipping through a book on local legends. And there aren't a whole lot. It's mostly the tree and what the covens used to do before they were, well, the covens. It used to confuse a lot of people, I guess. But there's no school ghost in here. Kier. Kirith. Uh oh. Guys? Yeah. Uh, yeah? I think I hear Mama calling for me. What are you? I'll be right back. Recording. Hi. Uh, th this is Rian. And Alice. Alice is here with me. Hi. So, Kirith ran out the library, and I was right behind her. But when I opened the door, I couldn't see anyone. The, the library is at the end of a long hall. There's nowhere she could have gone. And we haven't heard her mom. This is weird. What do we do? Maybe we should walk into the hall? The hall that ate Kira. But maybe, maybe then we, we could get teleported to wherever she went. Okay, Ellis... Hold my hand. We're going out the door. Now. Now 
I feel stupid. M maybe it only works if, if people leave alone. But then, how are we supposed to get to Kira? Well, well, you go first, and, and I'll go after you. Okay. I, I'm, I'm right behind you. Thanks. Recording. Hi, this is El Ellis. I am... Um, I am the assistant on the story, the, the stories from Lelmore podcast. I, I think I'm in town, but not this town. I, I, I can hear waves, and it, it, it smells like the ocean. I, I don't think Lelmore is near the ocean. There, there are a lot of people here, but I, I don't think they can see me. I'm not sure if that makes being here better. Better, better, or worse? Recording. A carnival. Oh, I should have brought Kira's brick. It's really, I mean, it's cool. It's a carnival. But it's scary because there isn't supposed to be a carnival here. And it feels like I'm alone. Kira. Kira. If you can hear me, this isn't funny. I'm gonna have to do it. Kirith! Mm. I don't know how I got here. I don't remember leaving the school. Mama? Hello? It's. Oh. I can't be here anymore. It's the old stand and the old couch! Our old park! Hello? Mama! Our old carpet! Rian! Alice! Can anyone hear me? Hello? Oh! Grandma! Oh, Grandma Ofo, did you know how much I missed you? I have so much to tell you, so I started this. Grandma? I can't hear you. I, I don't think any anyone else is here. Maybe we all got sent to different places. Uh, Kira said that if we get separated, we, we have to go back to the classroom. I, I, I don't know how to do that. I found a game and it says play me. It's it's one of those games where you have they give you darts and you have to pop the balloon. Will something bad happen if I play it? I, I kind of want to play it. The last time the carnival came to Lelmore, I had a chess tournament and I missed it. Are you upset that you missed it? Oh, uh, uh when, when, when did you get here? Are you upset that you missed the carnival? No. I I was, I mean, a little bit. But it was a chess tournament. I had to go. Why? Why? Why'd you have to go? Do you even like chess? Grandma can't see or hear me. I'm trying to decide if that means I died and maybe I'm the ghost. But wouldn't that mean that I should be haunting the school? Or the old apartment, like today. And not like um, when I was. Oh, the picture Mama took when I finally came to live with them isn't here yet. So I'd still be in the hospital. I thought I made that stick. Hmm. Anyway, Grandma's just going around getting ingredients. It seems like there's lots. I want to know what kind of spell she's doing, but she's taking forever! I found this girl who kind of looks like my mom, but, but not really. She she looks like my mom if I squint really hard, and, and I think about what she looked like when she was my age. She, she sort of looks like that. I, I don't have anything else to do here, so I, I have just been following her around. I, I, I can't understand what anyone's saying. I, I think they like her, at least. So someone gave her a chicken. I... I should go. Why do you still go to a club if you don't like it? Do you know how to get out of here? 
Wait until the end of the lesson. What lesson? The one we're having right now. Uh, I just played chess because the teacher asked me to join the club. Why'd you say yes? I think she's finally done. The whole table's full of ingredients and things. I don't even know what half of them are. She's measuring everything. Everything. Every time I think she's done, she starts measuring something else. Am I gonna have to do this one day? There have to be easier ways to measure things. Right? The chicken's dead. Uh, uh, she, she ate it for lunch. Oh, that, that makes it sound like she ate it alive. Um, she got the chicken and carried it across town, and there was this, this lady with, with a hatchet, and then she took it back across town to someone. I, I think it might, it might have been a friend's mom cooked it, and, and they ate together. I, I don't think I'm going to eat chicken for a little bit. And now we're in the forest. There's a little path, but like not not the nice path, but there are no more. It's like uh, a, a bunch of people just walked through here, and all, all the plants died. I like it when people trust me. I, Why do you work so hard to earn people's trust? Because nobody trusts me at first. If 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 I'm helpful, they remember. It's not a fair thing for a child to endure. I don't know. That's just how things are. What do you think will happen if you stop helping? Something bad. Do you really think so? Yeah. She's so slow! I know that this is used for barriers, but I don't know what any of these are for, or where she got that blood from. But those look like nude eyes. None of this means anything to me. I could at least sit on one of the chairs. I guess it's lucky that I'm not falling through the floor. Floor is flooring. Oh wait, she finally stopped measuring things. Now she. No 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 no! Grandma, please don't bring up the old mortar and pestle. Ah! Um, she, she finally stopped at a really big looking um, cave. She, she's kneeling and, and leaving a bunch of flowers. They're, they're very pretty. Um, I, I think she might be waiting for someone. Sh should I wait too? I, I'll kneel too. I, I wonder who we're waiting for. You know that as you get older, this is going to be harder to keep up. I can do it. Would Kirif love you less if you told her no? How do you know Kirif? I know everyone in town. Oh. Well. Mmm. No. I don't think I have to do anything for Kirif to like me. What about Ellis? I've never done anything for Ellis. They like you too. That's two people in the entire world. Sometimes two is a lot. It's not. Maybe this was too early. That's the last thing, I think. And now she's ill. Mixing everything together and painting the table. Grandma, that's so gross. I'm gonna eat there one day. She has her hands on the table. She's chanting. She's still chanting. She's still chanting. If this is a really long chant, Grandma. Ah. Ba, 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 boring. I'm ba, 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 bored. Can't even play with a carpet. That's wrong. I, I can't remember the way the coven spirit looks, but it's not whoever this is. Other spirits can't cross the wards. Other spirits can't cross the wards! Did Grandma take down the barrier? Wait, 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 what did she use? What did she say? Kiff, you're an idiot! No! Mysterious Forest! Mysterious Forest! If I promise I'll pay really, really good attention, can you show me this again? My leg.
takes her. What are we waiting for? Is this just how she likes to spend her time? Kneeling? Maybe. Maybe she doesn't have real friends either. Oh, th there's something in the cave. It's it's a really tiny spirit. I, I think that's what it is. It, it looks like the thing in textbooks, I guess. It, it it's cute. It kind of looks like a doll. Hey, I, I think your friend is here. Oh, right. Um, she can't hear me, so uh, I I'll just wait then. Oh, they jumped on her. <laughs> she knows them. They look happy. Mysterious Force! I'm not that. Oh, I'm back. Alice, Rian, I missed you. How did we get here? I don't know. Did you see my grandma around? The dead one. Yeah, her. No. Did you see a carnival? Uh-uh, I, I went to a forest. Huh. I guess Alice's friends weren't lying, but I don't think that was a ghost. Then what was it? I don't know. I, I, I don't get it. You want to talk about it while we eat some snacks? Yeah, sure. This is Kareth from the school building. I'm still here with Freon. Hi. And Alice. <laughs> Alice. Huh. Anyway, we don't get it. None of this makes any sense. I guess that... That's it for today's episode of Stories from Lowmore. Check us out next time to see if we got any smarter. <laughs> But, um, Rian was actually talking to somebody, which is really weird. Uh, he, he said they were kind of tall, with eyes that were, like, cloudy. Not like my grandma's used to be, but, uh, like, clouds in the sky. If you know anything about that, um, help. Stories and Little Mori is made by the It Me Podcast Production LLC. All voices are done by me. Transcripts for this episode can be found in the link in the description or at itmepodcast.com, where you can also find coloring pages, bonus materials, and other podcasts. Letters can be sent to storiesfromlalamore at gmail.com. If you want to support the creator, rate, review, comment, or tell a friend about the show. If you're a grown-up and want to offer more support, maybe you can think about donating to their Kofi or Patreon linked in the description. Our outro is Sticky Bee by Josh Woodward from the Free Music Archives, and it is distributed under the Creative Commons Attribution License. See you next